Coach, it wasn't easy tonight, but you won the ball game 80 to 63, four in a row, five out of your last six. With a little break coming up, you got to be pleased though with what your team's been able to accomplish here the last two weeks. Uh, very uh, happy with our team. Uh, not every game is going to be a uh, like the last three where we get an early double-digit lead in the first half, and and uh, you know there's these are what I call kind of grind games, you know, and you have them throughout a season, and and uh, you know you got to be tough enough mentally to grind through it. It was a slow possession game, to be honest with you. Uh, we we're a little bit fatigued. Uh, I played some guys heavy minutes, uh, but we grinded through it. And so it was a different kind of win tonight, uh, but that's a good thing. And uh, so, you know, four in a row, five out of the last six, going into Christmas uh, break here. Very happy with our team. You got to be pleased, though, too, Coach. They got it down under 10 points three times in the second half, but each time your club responded, pushed that lead right back out. One of the reasons that uh, every now and then we go to a five-guard lineup is the hopes that that lineup, while we might give up some things defensively and even get scored on almost every possession, that that lineup is so good offensively that we can outscore the other, the other team if we got a lead. And, and almost a race to the finish line. And I do that sometimes. Uh, in the hopes that that five-guard lineup works. It doesn't always work, uh, but it did tonight. Uh, they, they scored on us in the second half, but they couldn't stop us either, especially with Travis at the five, roaming, roaming the perimeter. So it became a game of offense by both teams in the second half, and, and uh, you know, this, this one time it worked. Travis has not had the consistency offensively that he had a year ago, but tonight goes off for 32 points. Very difficult for them to guard from a matchup standpoint, but he really did a nice job carrying the team, especially during that one stretch in the first half. Well, I'm happy for Travis because he struggled, you know, lately uh, in, in in scoring. He, uh, his percentages have been down uh, from where they were last year, and uh, you know, it kind of got to him a little bit, I believe. And uh, uh, but just like we've been saying. And so I'm happy for him. But just like we've been saying, and we told our team in a timeout, once Travis had got really hot, uh, this team has five guys, five different guys that on any given night can be the leading scorer on that night. Tonight it was Travis turn. I mean, you think about it in this four-game stretch, I think we've had a different leading scorer every game. That's hard to guard. If your kids buy into it now, that's hard to guard. And uh, so, uh, you know, I'm happy for Travis. I'm also happy for our team. And they started getting the ball to Travis once they, they, they saw how hot he was. He made eight threes tonight. Uh, very good job by our whole team. And late in the game, we had a chance to spread the floor. Both Michael Ertle as well as Deshaun Smith made some one-on-one -on -one plays as well. They did, and uh, I thought Deshaun made a couple critical ones, some hard plays. Kind of in that, they got it under 10 a time or two, and and uh, he made some tough man uh, play, a drive, and then a mid-range. Uh, Mike as well, and that's what you, that's what we need out of those guards. Again, it's not, it's not going to always be, you know, run the floor, shoot a three. Sometimes you got to go. Uh, make plays it's called in basketball make some plays hard plays plays that I don't that I don't that I didn't call a play for them you know they making basketball plays and and we've got the ability to do that with some guys and uh, uh, so that was nice to see tonight as well this team is awfully difficult to guard offensively when you're sharing the basketball 15 assists tonight on 26 made field goals I'm very happy about that you know again in the, uh, around Thanksgiving, you know, when we really addressed our team about sharing the ball, uh, they've really listened. And uh, we, are, we are, you know, in the last month, we're probably averaging 16, 17 assists a game. They are sharing this ball with, with each other. And uh, that's, that, that's, you know, I've said this before, but it's fun to coach. It's fun to watch as a fan. And, and the players, it's fun to play you know, play with if uh, if everybody's uh, okay with it and involved with it, and so uh, I think we're doing a great job with that. After Tuesday night win, you said you'd have a Merry Christmas. If you got a win tonight, you got the win. I know that you're not a me kind of guy, but what did it mean tonight to see the way the crowd responded with the victory as well as the way the team celebrated your 100th win here at ULM and your 250th career win? Well, you know, I hadn't thought much about it because I just found out today I, I really didn't know this was coming up. And uh, we're in the middle of the season, and, uh, you know, this is this win tonight's the one I really wanted for, for a Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's what I wanted. And... Uh, but, you know, it makes you stop and hesitate and, and reflect a little bit. And, uh, you know, the thing that 
uh, I'd like to say is I'm very appreciative to be the head coach here. The place where I played at, I graduated here, you know, was an assistant coach here and very appreciative of, of being here and uh, enjoy what I'm doing and, and uh, you know, in, in that respect, uh, very happy and, and kind of what we've done with the program. We're not, it's not over with, you know, we started really down, you know, when I first got here, we've built it back up. We're very competitive now, very competitive and we're looking to do more and so, you know, I, I, I'm glad I've been able to help in that respect along the way and and uh, I mean I know all about this program I came here in 1978 and uh, you know coach Vinans here tonight who I played for and and worked for as well and uh, uh, real happy to, uh, that he's here to you know to be a part of it got a break for a couple of days for uh, for Christmas then the last non-conference game at LSU be another great measuring stick for your team though before you go into Sunbelt play it is you know another team with a lot of size and so uh, uh, it's been kind of nice not to play that size like we did at Texas and at Michigan State but uh, you know obviously they're having a good year and got a lot of talented players over there and but you know we're playing well and uh, uh, I'd rather be going to play them now than, than, than earlier in the year because we're playing better and and playing pretty good right now. So uh, we'll give them a little three-day break. Uh, they need it. We'll come back, uh, kind of get them back in shape a little bit, prepare for LSU and see how we do.